Hi everyone. It's sunny out, so I'm a little bit more squinty than normal. <laughs> but I want to talk about a tribe and why it's so important that we as parents have a tribe. And it can't just be any old tribe. <laughs> it's a tribe of like-minded people. And the reason it's so important is because we will have losses in our lives outside of the estrangement. Whether it's when I lost my father, um, got divorced, had family members pass away, etc. I I can't stress enough how important it is that we have a life outside of our children. Because if they were to unfortunately pass away, or in this group since... Uh, most of us have an estranged child or estranged children. I can't tell you how very important it's been to me that I've had a tribe of friends and not only just my husband, but a variety of women that love and support me and walk with me through this life. The way to get a tribe <laughs> is to step outside of your comfort zone, which normally is your home, the home that you raised your children in or have raised your grandchildren in. And the minute they're gone, it's really important to think, where am I going to put all of my focus and energy and pour my love into? And the truth is, is there's a billions of people in this world. And most important, the love we still have and we are able to share with others it, it should if, if you didn't if you don't use it you kind of you may become a recluse you may become angry you may not ever take a step out of your comfort zone and then you may say well I, I did it once I'm not gonna do it again because to hell with it I, I don't want to get hurt but when we love there is loss and so what I fortunately have in my life and I built up over time is a tribe of people that are like-minded but keep me on the right path, that get, that help me to refocus, that say, get up, let's go. Um, you're still a worthy person. You're still valuable. I still enjoy having you around. And what I did was, and it wasn't it, even before I got married, and I've been with my husband only two and a half years, is I... Now that we have social media, there were times when I looked through my grade school and high school yearbooks and in my military um, book that we receive at basic training and people I served in the military with, I reconnected with so many people and along the way I have joined different classes and, and gotten out of my comfort zone and gone to concerts and gone here and there. and. I, I'm a photographer, so along the way, I have filled my space up with new people. So I have a new tribe of people, and these people really help me to see wallowing <laughs> and self-pity. Uh, the main reason is because each one of us has a loss and each one of us has struggles. So if I'm only talking about myself, <laughs> It doesn't allow anyone else the opportunity to share their grief as well, whether it's they lost a job or, you know, maybe they have suffered a miscarriage or they have a child maybe who has a, a challenges in life. Maybe they're going to retire or anything along those lines and they're really not quite sure what they're going to do. So I'm only focusing on myself. I'm not of service to other people and plus... <laughs> I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. I don't want to say my pain is greater than your pain or I, you know, you only lost, you know, you're only estranged from one child. I'm estranged from two. It's, it's not a game of comparison the way some people do in this world when, uh, you know, my labor and delivery was eight hours. Well, someone might say, well, mine was 12 hours. <laughs> so my suffering is greater, but we all know how this works. It's what we do with our suffering that allows us to either get up or continue to spiral down that rabbit hole. So 
I got a new tribe. Even before I met my husband, I started gathering a new tribe of people that helped keep me on track. And when I needed to reach out or I was having, well, I was being challenged in my own thoughts and feelings and in my own sufferings, I would reach out to friends, but the right people will get you back on track and say, you know, you've been through this, you've gotten through it before, you'll get through it again. So let's get up and go. Don't, I'm not going to allow you to sit there and so I'll give you five minutes for this and then we're going to get up and move on. Let's go to the gym. Let's go do something. Let's spend time together. Just anything along those lines. So I just wanted to say tribes are really important. I have a great tribe and that is what has gotten me through this situation. So, uh, well, a number of things have gotten me through. You know, I got a good therapist. I, I, I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm trying to go to the gym. So all you gotta do is get back up and try <laughs> so that's all I wanted to say I hope this helps someone else and we'll talk with you soon bye-bye